Good morning, St. Thomas More. I got a uh, three points I want to make to you today. I would appreciate if you listen. Uh, if you're in the classroom, obviously take a, take a look up at the televisions. If you're in the hallway, if you don't mind, just stop and listen to this announcement. First and most importantly, I just want to um, correct something that's happening quite often. It's a teenage thing and it's, it's really got to stop. And it's congregating at fights and conflict. Um, w when we suffered our, our major tragedy a few weeks ago, I think it kind of changed some of us, the way we think, the way we act. It certainly did me. I walk to school every day. I walk a, a, a route that crosses uh, Upper Paradise. I never not uh, cross at the light now. I'm constantly looking around. These things have kind of changed the way I behave. And it was because it was such an extreme tragedy, it will kind of be imprinted on me and I'm sure on many of you forever. But it shouldn't take a tragedy for us to change our behavior. And I'm very concerned as this culture of having teenagers congregate at the first sign of a fight or conflict, I, I'm very concerned that one day we're gonna suffer a tragedy and you're gonna be a witness. Instead of come, going to get an adult, you'll, you'll realize that you actually were, had, a, had your phone out or you were encouraging this bad behavior, which can and does end in tragedy all over Hamilton every year. I've been a vice principal and a principal for over 10 years now. And I can think just off the top of my head of at least five student deaths at various schools across Hamilton that started with something like a physical conflict. So I'm asking and telling you not to congregate at these things. And I know that I'm not gonna convince everybody of that, but I only need to convince some of you that your best action is to report it to the nearest adult when you know it's coming. I've also been around long enough to know that it doesn't come out of nowhere. Often you know it's coming hours ahead of time. Oh, people are gonna meet here, people are gonna meet there. All it takes is one or two concerned, mature teenagers, and I know there are many, to tell one caring adult there are many, and we can prevent some tragedy from happening. Please let's not play chicken with this. It's serious. Don't mess around. If you know something's coming, please tell an adult so we can prevent it. That doesn't make you the rat. That makes you doing the right thing. Secondly, if, I know some of you have talked to many of you in the hallways, and I know some of you maybe didn't have a great first semester and are making positive changes in second. I've noticed that there's been decreased activity in the hallways, and I just want to congratulate those people for doing that and encouraging you to make sure that Thursday continues as Monday to Wednesday did. It's been my theory, and I've told you this before, that if you want to make a positive change, it takes about three weeks to make it part of you. So it takes about three weeks. We're still in week one. If you've made a positive change over the first three days, keep it going. Let's finish out this week well, get week one done, and then worry about next week. Okay, don't be a hallway warrior. Remain in your classroom. Hand in your stuff. You'll do much better in all your classes if you just hand them in. And finally, ending on a bit of a positive, although I have to say one other thing that requires some correction. I just want to congratulate all our winter sports teams. We had three wins last night in boys basketball. Our volleyball teams are doing extremely well. They're in the playoffs. If you haven't seen the senior girls volleyball team, you're missing out. They're absolutely phenomenal. And they're going to be on their way for a collision course with another great team, Bishop Tonis, likely. But there's playoffs in between. You should go get out and see them. We also have boys and girls hockey, swimming, wrestling. Uh, all, the, all of you people, I got to say, all of our athletes and our coaches, I appreciate all of them. Sometimes throughout these seasons, you're dealing with, as a principal, discipline issues and things that have happened in games. People have been ejected for fights and stuff like that. And to my knowledge, it's not happened at all. So I appreciate the athletes, their good behavior, and I know that their good behavior comes from the good coaches that they're, that they're dealing with. So thank you to the coaches. And finally, to the fans, uh, if you, you see me at games, I honest, honestly love these big events, and I encourage you strongly to get out to these games. You'll be hearing more about them on these announcements. Pay close attention. Some of them are going to have limited seating, and if you miss out the tickets, just like some of you found out at prom, you're not going to be able to get there. So I'm, I'm really encouraging you to attend these games because you'll have a lot of fun. But they're meant to be fun. We're not going to a Raptors game. You can't heckle the, you don't heckle the referees. You don't heckle the other players. You're cheering the game. You're not cheering the other fans. Okay, and now I know other fans sometimes do that, but we don't do that at St. Thomas More. We can go out and have an awesome time and, and cheer on our teams to victory with, well, without acting so aggressively. This is not professional sports. 
It's Hamilton Catholic League sports. I'm demanding and expecting you to behave properly in the stands. If you don't, I'm going to remove you. Okay, but I don't want to do that. I want to pack the gym and have an amazing time. So with that, good luck to all our teams going forward and continue up the great work people who've made the change in their classrooms. Have a great day. Good morning, STM. My name is Shama. And I'm Alessandra, and here are your announcements for today. There will be a brief diversity committee meeting today after school at 2.50 p.m. in the library. This is a reminder for all concert band members of the rehearsal today after school in room 129. Reminder to all junior girls volleyball players of the first playoff game against SJB today at home court at 5.30. Come for five and ready to warm up. Go Knights! Attention all swim team athletes. This is a reminder of today's mandatory swim team meeting after school today in room 316. Again, mandatory swim team meeting after school today in room 316. See you there from your swim coaches. Knights Fighting Cancer Club members, please check your email. Relay for Life leadership role applications are due to Ms. Sarenko by Monday, February 13th. Spirit Wear orders are due tomorrow. Please see Ms. Sarenko in room 151 if you have any questions. And now, oh, there will be a meeting next Monday, February 13th in room 342 for those interested in trying out for the senior boys soccer team. An outdoor tryout will take place next week, weather permitting. And now for your sports. Your novice boys basketball team is on a two-game winning streak as they defeated SJB in the quarterfinals, winning 68-58. High scorers for the game were Jason Martin with 21 points, Anthony Jimmy Rodriguez 12 points, and Aiden Koshran chipped in with 10. Once again, it was a total team effort. Next action is this upcoming Monday at Bishop Ryan at 3.30 p.m. versus the Bishop Ryan Celtics. Good luck and go Knights! Congratulations to the junior boys basketball team who won last night in the quarterfinal game against St. Mary's 69 to 54. It was a total team effort. Your junior Knights are headed to the semifinals on Monday against arch rival Cathedral Gales, where your Knights are looking for revenge after losing to them by single digits twice this season. Come support the team Monday at Cathedral with a game time to be determined. Congratulations to the senior boys basketball team who defeated ACMT 80 to 48 in their quarterfinal game. Great team effort led by Zuriel Milongo, Nathan Shepard, who each had 17 points. Next action is the semifinals on Monday at 4 p.m. at STM versus the team from Stony Creek. Let's pack our gym on Monday after school. Go Knights! The boys hockey team finished off the regular season on a great note, defeating Burbuff 9-1 yesterday afternoon. Joseph Sickler led the way with a five-point game, netting two goals and three assists, and Jack Ormond had two goals and an assist. Josh Cordell, Mateo Reda, Blake Curran, Julian Carbone, and Liam Ryerson all chipped in with a goal each, and Joseph Paymont was solid between the pipes. The boys will now play Bishop Tonis in the quarterfinals on Monday. Fan support is appreciated. Yesterday, the girls' hockey team finished the regular season with a 3-0 victory over SJB. Kiana McCrory, Juliana, Julia Fanara, and Angelica Marconi scored the goals. Angelina Berardi posted the shutout. The Knight finished second in the league play and have a buy into next week's semifinals. Thanks, STM. And have a great day. Good morning, STM. Love is in the air, and your student council is playing Cupid. Buy a sweet treat for an even sweeter person. Our annual candy gram sales have begun. Candy grams will be sold during third and fourth period lunch for just $2. So, buy one for your friends. Buy one for your crush. Need a mark boost after last semester? Buy one for your teacher. And if you have no one to get one for, buy one for yourself because there is no love like self-love. To buy a candygram, you must know the name and first period classroom of the recipient. Candygrams are a limited number and sales are ending next Monday at fourth period. So don't wait till last minute. Get your candygram today. Thanks STM, XOXO, your student council. STM. Those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.24, and remember, it's a great day to be a knight.